undo the straps again. Straps all and straps all. Oh hey, welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. As you can see here, I went ahead and bought another trailer and a dolly. And a dolly's kind of uh, spazzed out or something. But anyway, I hope I split this right. Let's uh, get them sold. Not waste no time. 89,661 with 1,594 environmental score. Woohoo! And okay, all that sewed. And all this sewed. Alright, I will. Well, uh, first of all, uh, how y'all doing, folks? I hope y'all doing alright. AKA Mr. Blue here, Tommy Miller. Folks, today, we got some logs to sell. <sighs> yeah, I, um, as you can see, I messed up where I go and had to swing on around again. That light pole, you just can't make that turn with two trailers there. But anyway, I will see y'all back at the, the field where we're cutting the logs at. All right, we are back. We are back. And check it out. We have made it. See the tan or this dark line down through here? They scratched. Um, yeah. That is one property line, which we own both sides of that, so don't worry. Just in case you're new. Um, no, I'm on. See, there we go. Oh, all right, change the sides. Um, was it the right side already? Oh, yep, I was on the right side the first time. Okay, we'll shut that off. We're going to pull up. And as you can see, oh, we got a stump there. We couldn't. Some stumps we could get and some we couldn't. But we got... Uh, Let's see, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, my wife's call it seven. And that'd be eight. And I think that's it. Eight piles. So, yeah, but how y'all doing? Y'all re really doing okay? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I hope y'all enjoyed Construction Simulator, folks. Um, that first episode, it, it was kind of trash. It uh, didn't have the sound stuff right, but I figured, you know, I'll go ahead and keep it going anyway. Um, the second was okay, but I really think the third one is where I learned a lot of my stuff. And, and... You know, I was like, oh, well, I can't do that. I need to do this. And, oh, don't, I, I did just like, I don't need to do that. Right, I think this front one's full. I'm going to switch to the back. This is the previous side. Oh, why did that load? It's off. Supposed to be off. And it's off. Hmm. It's kind of scary. All right, we're going to get back here where we can see. Hopefully, I'm on the right side. Uh -huh. well, it says left side. Right, I'm sure to do that. There we go. Okay. Let them settle. Yeah, see, that's what I don't like about it sometimes. That you get one like this here. Just gonna pull it out and lay it back down. That way, yeah, one kind of fell down. Still an air gap there. You can't keep from it. Alright. Maybe if I just let them go pretty fast. Alright, might can get one or two more on there. Yeah, maybe. Let's see here. Looks like I got all this. We'll go back up front. But folks, uh, I do want to buy a couple things in this episode. Um, I did buy some beehives already. Um, 
I want to buy a, a tailor shop and a fabric or a spinnery and a fabric shop or whatever they're called. All right, here we go. I like it when it just loads one log at a time. Go ahead and unstrap and restrap. Load one or two more. It's doing one log at a time. I kind of like that in a way. Alright, it didn't. Alright, we are full. So I'm going to meet y'all back at the lumber yard. Actually, you know what? I'm wanting to put in more... Um, hang on, I'm going to show y'all something. I'm really wanting to do the beans first, but hang on a second. Alright, as y'all can see here, this is a suspendery. It's by No Handcuffs uh, Mod. And you can take cotton or uh, wool from the sheeps and turn it into fabric. But I'm trying to, I think that is the front, but... Okay, I see the trigger now. So the trigger's on that side. And it actually looks like that's the front. Because the air conditioning units and stuff's on this side. That looks like a back door. So I think we're going to put it like... Okay, see, I don't see nothing on that side. So we're going to kind of put it like maybe right there. We're going to zoom out a little bit and we're going to actually put it about right we're going to clear some of these trees out right here we're going to put this about right there okay and that is the spinnery and which is what was it this let's see what's this one? this is the tailor shop there's a spinnery and here's the tailor shop hundred thousand so it takes a fabric and turns it into clothes and clothes really really gets the stuff done um and so let's spin this around. I know it's a hundred thousand, but um, I, okay, the trigger's right there at the back. So this is the front. Um, do we want it this close together, really? Um, about the only place for it. We're just gonna put it right here. Mm. What was that trigger that I saw? Zoom in a little bit. Alright, trigger's right there at that door, so... Zoom in. Oh! Needle and stitch. That's what it's called. So I guess that's going to be the front. We're going to put it about... About like that, I guess. Um... That's kind of too close. We'll put it right here. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Okay, and it's bringing us down quite a bit. So, yeah. But anyway, I'll meet y'all. Um, oh, oh, I want to put in a... Uh, sorry about that, folks. Probably done past it again. That's the lizard's... Uh, let's see, it's no... That was the tailor, uh, spinnery and tailor shop um that is the bakery eu it's a u.s bakery uh got a little bit before we get into that uh that's carpentry um take planks and trees and turn it into furniture and this in here oh wait that's eu and that's us okay i think this should actually be then got lost. Where did oh how we get way over here? I think this building here should be over here. So uh, we need to harvest the soybeans because um, I don't think we got a place for it unless we just because we don't own that land yet. I think we could put it. I don't know back to back here. Would that make sense or should we put it on down somewhere else? I really don't know. Um, is that what I got there? That is the same building, folks. That's one I... Oh. 
Yeah, okay, so I already got that down. I just need a, another sawmill. That's the EU. That's the bakery. There. Da uh, dairy. Okay, that's all the pallet and barrel production. I don't need that yet. I need another sawmill. That's what I need. I don't know. Hang on. I gotta find that. Alright. I found this in here. I'll try to get where y'all can see it real good. Zoom in here. Um, this takes wood and produce uh, wood chips and planks. So, uh, yeah. And we got this big, uh, big one here. Which is, uh, not bad looking, but kind of big. And then we got the large sawmill. And then we got this in here. Just got the big old wood chip area. And we got this in here. Um, that's seed and fertilize. That's something we need to start getting to. But anyway, I can't put these down because I don't have no place for them. Uh, I could put them out here, but this would be good farmland. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this area here. Um, which is the one that we don't own number five and it's going for seventy eight thousand so i'm gonna go ahead and buy it while we got the money yes now we own one two three four five and six and of course 25 26 27 28 29 30. uh we're getting pretty good amount of land uh i, I would like to go ahead and get the rest oh, rest of these but there's 79 79 79 that and 72 Ooh. oh that's 78 85 dad yeah 79 okay 85 85 85 while we cross the board here okay okay well anyway we'll probably go 7 through 10 next and have like a big field that goes uh, east and west but anyway I got a bunch of more wood put down and a uh, bunch of stumps we gotta get going so I'll make another load to that one place uh, we might take one or two of these loads up or save them for uh, our new sawmill we're going to do Anyway, be right back. Oh yeah, this is the one I'm just bringing you back on this. Uh, that's why I wanted to bring the fence over. So we have d double trailers like this or a big combine. We can bring it through there with no problem. Alright, we made it up here. Man, I forgot to undo the straps. Oh, well, most of it went. Uh, $86,079 worth uh, 1524 Vibrator score. Woohoo! And, uh, looks like all of them took. Ratchet straps resetting their cells. Oh, that and they back up. Get that. Should be good enough in the thing. $97 for that and a dollar or five minutes for Woohoo! Rich, folks. We're so, so, so weird. Actually, we are getting up there pretty good. But anyway, I'm going to meet you back at the field. And since I'm loaded, I just want to show you something here. The grass is growing back pretty, pretty good. Still got a long ways to go compared to this stage here. But you can see there it is growing. Um, not going to get as much as we would if we actually plow this field and put fertilizer and stuff down, but hey, it's free. Don't have to do nothing to it. As I'm recording this, we do have a train in real life, folks. Oh, got to undo the straps. Alright, get back here. And 
and see if we can get a spot. Let's get in there. Right here. 80,936. Er, 936. 80,936 dollars, folks. With 1433 of our minutes for. Ooh. Let's double check, make sure everything's sold. Yep. Okay. Uh, we got like maybe a piece of a load left. So that's going to be all of that. I'm going to check around and see what needs to be sold. Uh, of course, get this back where it needs to be. And uh, I'll catch you here in a second, folks. All right, folks, we drug a tree over here. By the way, they already put it down. It was fast. But uh, we're going to go right here. I think this is it. And boom. We have 7,800. 38 liters of wood in here and owes 110,000 and it is running uh, so this is where you put your wood in uh, I guess this is where you get the wood chips out and then this is where the wood planks show up go in here and show up open production and you can see uh, 110,000 well holds and we already got one plank so this should run pretty fast hopefully yeah so one plank I don't know what it's going to get up to but we got some more wood to drag over we got a bunch of bushes here that I cleared out and got a bunch more on the other one or other side over it that's going to go into the other uh, trigger See, that should be good. Yeah, that's in the trigger. Well, I can't remember how many I cut down, but, you know, did, did put them in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh okay, I got two. Oh, I got 10,191 in there now. Man, that looks like all of them I got cut down. Here's the back side of it. A little water pump or something there. Here's the boards you can see, and they probably cut them into making planes. It's got a generator, just the electric back up. Here's the wood chips. So yeah, you can either scoop them up that way or you can just load them by a truck. That's that's good. Um, let's go over here to our other one. Get these trees out of the road here. As you can see here, we're at 65 to 40, and that's going to bring us to 69 171. This one holds 100,000. Uh, I'll put all the planks into the, uh, the thing here. Oh, we got a pallet already. Uh, 5,000 liters, okay, of furniture. So now we have uh, two sawmills. Uh, that no burn, this one here. So hopefully we get more planks. Uh, we're going to have to get another furniture place uh, to go along with it, probably. But I do have a couple of logs here. Uh, just brought the truck down, picked up what we had left over there. I think I made a boo-boo. Was not thinking about the rocks being there. Let's see if I can go in around here. Oh, I I would have had to hit something. I think about having two trailers on here. It's a good thing nobody was parked there. So I think I'll make a road like through here because we can come right here and hopefully come around here and let's see we're at 10188 but 19732. Okay, I check it. Yeah, I always having problems getting in. Alright, we can go on around like this. And we just need to make a road. We'll, we'll probably make a road over to the other side or something. But what I'll probably do is just use one trailer for now. Oh, I hit the pole. I was watching the trailer and not, not the pole. Alright, park that right there. Unhook. There it goes. Yeah. Now we can go back here and get some more trees put in here. And uh, make room for the uh, other plank thing. So, uh, 
yeah this is what it looks like down here and yeah, I'm gonna show a little bit of this um, probably just gonna do this off screen and I'll bring you back when I'm done and uh, I'm gonna also see what I need to sell if anything so I'll be right back all right folks I just want to bring y'all back and show you what this looks like here's our the green right here where the circle is is the cotton that's cotton this is where we cut down the trees and stuff so far and uh, our canola wrap deal thing there and also down here is what we got left to go um, see if I can go on up in the sky a little bit more um, yeah all these trees where the see the water line there all these trees down through here is going to come out and all these bad trees right through here it's what I call bad trees uh, well they're they're hard to cut trees basically uh, all those are going to come out and we're going to do what we can do making a basically what I'm going to do is get these tucking out to around this sorry pit get this area cleaned up and I think there's a guardrail somewhere here yep right there there's the defense line and I don't know if I can take some of them out or not but anyway down through here I don't know if I want to do it there or not because then they'll be falling into the collision of the wall but I do know I, I might put them here start about maybe four rows like maybe what did I just grab I was grabbing a tree oh, okay anyway uh, we're gonna put some trees down through here probably some big ones like this let them grow get tall and uh, that'd be what we harvest in the future like 10 years from now so but anyway we might put some down through here I don't know might leave a spot here to put some trees somewhere on the map we're gonna have some trees to replant and cut down replant cut down but future goal is to get this whole big lot right here bought all the way over to the road and uh, of course a big old grain silo that's our project going there and a shop or not a shop but like a a, a workshop you know for the tractor storage and stuff so we put big equipment in it because we are going to go big uh, let's go big or go home right but now I own all this cross here and you can see we we done pretty good amount of stuff we got a sawmill put in here to help with more planks and then we'll put a uh, carpentry shop in behind this probably make some roads and stuff and over here we need to make some roads and the trees are figuring for some reason let's uh go in here and drop our, our drone to the ground here flight mode off Eee, bloom. But this is the carpentry uh, spinnery. This is a spinnery. We got wool, cotton that produces fabric. And this is the no handcuff spinnery. So it should go pretty fast. Just look at it. looks pretty good. I know this probably should have been front, but it looks like a back. And this right here, just look at it. it looks like a front. And then we got the... Uh, needle and stitch here go in there open it up and turns the fabric to cl clothes and folks clothes do pretty good let's see what we got here mint popular cotton big bag seed potatoes we need to pay some back on that coming this next month um here's the production active production lines only um let's see here let's see if we can find uh, there's cotton there's wool all right right here fabric is up there pretty good but look folks at clothes train yard it's ten thousand dollars for a pallet that's what i want with all the cotton and stuff also over here i just the frickering just does that when i'm running for some reason but as you can see we have bees one two three four five six and then our seventh one is the 
one that spawns honey here. Now, I'll probably replace this one when the bees get down. I just filled the bees up. I shouldn't have done that. You can see bees are 996 and it holds a thousand. So yeah, um, that's the modder that made that, which is good. You know, honey pops up here. It works great. But I'm gonna go with these. These are $19,000 each. But the honey spawns wherever you put this trigger here. That's what I was wanting. So 65 liters of honey, plus what we got there. And as far as our produce, we just uh, we got some strawberries, a little bit of lettuce, and, and uh, uh, tomatoes. Uh, next time we'll probably be putting uh, uh, da, 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 what's it called uh, wheat into our chicken places down there and getting some chickens. I brought this down. Now, folks, um, we have. 69,196 liters of wheat in here so hopefully that'll do and uh this is what gets the wheat out of the bags and it augers it out i tried to hook it to this end it will not do it just it won't do it some kind of tab or something there anyway you have to hook it whichever end you had the other piece on to load this thing is the end that you have to use so be careful on where you put it because I almost put it too close to the sheeps here and we got what a quarter of a pallet looks like there and folks I think everything's pretty much um we are going to be changing this mod uh this uh baler out for another one um, maybe. I'm not for sure yet. Um, let's see. Y'all, y'all seen that? Y'all seen that? Uh, and y'all probably like, what are you going to use this for? Well, you'll see probably two episodes from now. And we have our cotton stripper. Now, this is a cotton stripper. But it is the new bale type cotton stripper. What it does, instead of a cotton picker, cotton picker just picks it off. This is actually rips the bowls off and helps get all the cotton off of it whatsoever. So yeah, this is coming as soon as the cotton gets done. Uh, on over here, you can see this place is opening up pretty good to getting the trees and stuff down. Um, 54 liters of planks, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, we got our combine stuff over here. This combine will be going bye bye after this uh, year. So after the soybeans, which is coming along, we're just waiting for them to hit the next stage growth. And this in here, uh, we're gonna be able to cut a little bit, and then uh, we'll have to wait on the rest of it. But we're gonna speed through that. We do have the bagger system down here ready to go. And just like I said, you know, we load on this side. This thing will push out that way. So we can't go to that end of it. We'll have to go whatever end, like here. That thing, other thing we bought will have to be right here. But yeah, hopefully, uh, well, next time it probably will be September when I bring y'all back, folks. Let's see. Where's the calendar? Probably looking right at it. Oh, right here. Yeah, it'll be September when I bring y'all back. And that'll be when soybeans... Oh, no. It'll be October before the soybeans be ready. When will the cotton be ready? Cotton, cotton. Cotton is October also. So beans and cotton will be October. I'm going to have to uh, skip September. So y'all might not be seeing September at all, folks. It all depends. <sighs> but anyway. Yeah. Leaving y'all on that. Um... Folks, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Uh, the watch time and stuff is, is awesome. And uh, like ratio to each comment, it's pretty good. So, yeah, um, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of y'all. I love each and every one of y'all. And, folks, I got to get off here. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later.